This is very different for the Group of Seven Outdoor Gallery. We are trying to recreate some Group of Seven paintings, one for each member of the original Group of Seven, which means this summer we won't be doing anything by Tom Thompson. Ah! Um, but uh, we are doing the original seven members and we're doing seven different canoes. This is the first one and we're recreating Lauren Harris's, Lauren S. Harris's Baffin Island. Now, because a canoe is nowhere near the same dimensions as a regular Group of Seven painting, which for the most part, Group of Seven paintings have a, a generally a almost square dimension. So about five foot by four foot or eight by 10 in shapes, sorry. Um, there's no way I can recreate it correctly and perfectly because the canoe's the canoe. So this is the only time ever in the history of the Group of Seven Outdoor Gallery that we will be allowing artists to ad lib, which is, it makes, you know, it makes it a little bit easier because when you're focusing on duplicating brushstroke for brushstroke to recreate an original Group of Seven piece, it is extremely difficult work. It's, it's, it's very hard to do because you're, you're, you're going back and forth all the time, at least this way on this one. Um, I'm allowed to have a little bit of my own input on the piece and how it turns out. Um, the interesting thing is that, again, this is a canoe, um, and we are using marine paint. So they don't have the same colors available as I would normally with uh, you know oil paint or um, acrylics, uh, but I picked out as many of my I don't know if you can slide over here and take a look, but I picked out as many of the bright colors I can get. And where's my yellow gone? I don't, there it is here. So these are my fundamental colors for this year, plus black and white. So I would have really liked a much brighter yellow, almost the color of the lid as well, or of, of that sticker there. That would have really helped. And uh, a pinky red would have been perfect too, but they didn't have them. So I'm gonna have to work with what I got. And the one thing that's good about that is because we're using these just, you know, uh, a few colors this year, um, they, it'll have a beautiful color harmony to it. Uh, the colors will all sort of be related to each other. Um, but I've never painted with marine paint before. It's an oil-based product that dries very rapidly. Like by the time you finish brushing it, it's like, <laughs> and it's stuck there. Um, but this is, uh, this whole event, is put on by the Huntsville Festival of the Arts. Um, and normally when we do these types of projects, we were hoping that we could have people in and add their brush strokes. However, in the year of COVID, um, there's no passing and touching of things. And not to mention this is oil paint. So if someone gets this on their clothes, it ain't coming off. And if they get it on their hands, they'll need Varsol to get it off. So I got my gloves and I'm trying to be as careful as possible, but, uh, it's already really coming along well, and the paint is just beautiful stuff. And we were helped out by uh, a marine paint specialist named John Gall uh, from John's uh, boating shop. He got us the paints and sort of gave me some pointers on how to use it properly, which was amazing because I've never worked with it before. And so here we are trying to recreate Lauren Harris's Baffin Island. And the cool thing about this is these are kind of more what Lauren Harris is known for, his North of Superior and his uh, Arctic paintings and his beautiful mountain paintings, the very serene, calm and beautiful pieces of art. Um, and we've never done one because we always focus on things that are more local to, to us in Huntsville and Algonquin Park. So this is our first really iconic um, Lauren Harris piece that he's really well known for and it's kind of exciting in that extent too. 